Billings, Montana. Got to stop at Best Buy because we have dead battery and no charger in the DSLR. So we've been on the road here for too long. Yeah, a while. What time we leave? Like 5:30. Right. Been on the road 18 hours. Yeah. Long time, no stopping, but here we are. Coming into Billings, starting to get into some mountains. Hope to be sleeping on the mountain here tonight. Cool. Alright, stop left. recording. Stop it. Make it stop. Time to load up on some TB. Prepare our lower intestine. And we'll be ready to go. Got the charger for the DSLR. So get some food, get in the mountains. Rolling into town. Last town before we're heading up into the mountains. Any last words while we have the cell phone signal? Well, no, not really. <laughs> I was gonna do my vocal will, but yeah, don't do that. They'll sort it out. That's what we like. Drove a long way to come see these bad girls. One's not even looking. See that big one on top? Oh, yeah. Kiss at it. Oh, there it is. Wake up. Brad? Brad? <laughs> oh, imagine trying to shoot that thing. Oh. There you go. See you, ladies. Alright, gals and pals. End of the first half a day. We made it probably a mile, mile and a half up the mountain, and... A little bit of a wet one. Yeah, it's still raining out. <laughs> I could go for a crispy boy and a warm meal right now. Had a honey stinger and a cliff bar for dinner. Yeah. Wash it down with some nice LaPorte County water <laughs> that I brought from home. So, we're going to be getting up early. We let out a couple bugles here right at dark didn't hear anything. It's hard to hear with all this rain coming down and dripping off the trees and on our jackets and everything, but I'm going to try and get up sometime tonight and bugle, see if we can at least get pointed in the right direction. At least if it's rain stuff. Yeah. So, we'll get after it in the morning, see if we can't get on a bugler. Alright, first morning. It's about 7.30 or so. Thing at light to like 6:30, so we we packed up camp, started heading up the mountain, probably come up about 500 feet or so, and started getting some better elk sign, seeing more poop, and Justin saw a big rub. So we're gonna keep going up and bugling and trying to suck in air. Alright, so we're been making our way up the mountain. Started getting to where we just got away from the cow sign, cattle sign, <coughs> and into the elk sign. And we got into this hill, let out a bugle, and uh, immediately heard chuckles about 40, or somewhere between 150 and 200 yards away down the hill. So we circled around. Set up. I was raking, doing cow calls. Oh, I just heard of my cat. That's a different bull. He's farther away. So I set up for Jeff. 
Justin, but we're just trying to work our way around here, get this wind right, and uh, see if we can't call one of these puppies in. So, I'm gonna keep moving through here. We're in great sign. We got, I think we've got two bulls, one bugling, one chuckling. So, let's we'll see if we get her done. All right, first morning recap. We're sitting down to have early lunch. We've hiked in probably another mile, mile and a half. We're making our way around to our intended destination. But we had that bull bugling, or chuckling rather, and then uh, the wind wasn't right, so we started to switch around to try to get it more favorable, and then um, heard what we thought was another bull sound off. Could have been the same one, we don't know. We got the wind in a little bit better position, so we're gonna see if we can get them to sound off while we eat here, maybe. If not, we gotta drop down and get some water and uh, try to figure out where they're at, make a play on them here closer to midday once they're bedded up. So now, we're just gonna get some food, warm up a little bit, and see if we can get back on them here shortly. Welcome to Flavor Town. Cooking up some mountain cuisine. Got a pork flavored ramen. Ryan's got a very expensive cut of ham. Mule deer crap. Oh, there's an elk turd down there. Yeah, we're sitting in mule deer and elk shit. I'm trying to be one with the elk. And uh, I think my ramen's burning. You gotta get a nice good char on that. We're not there yet, but we're close. All right, well, it's about noon, one o'clock, somewhere in there. And <clears throat> we ended up running into a couple other hunters. Um, the guy, the older guy was, owns a ranch here. We're kind of up behind his place on public. And uh, they had just seen a grizzly about a half mile from where we were, and it was actually the direction we were headed. So we decided to back out of there, get, try to find the elk that we had lost earlier in the day. And um, to no avail, found a ton of sign and stuff, but they just weren't in there. And we think they kept maybe pushed higher up the mountain. So. We stopped, we're pretty wet, it was raining pretty much all morning, so we're drying out the tent here, and got a fire going, drying out socks and boots and everything, so we'll probably hang out here for an hour or so, then we gotta go down and get water, the, the creek that we were going to to water up, uh, those guys said it's dry, there's nothing in it, so we gotta go to plan B. Um, and if there's no water there, then we gotta go all the way back to the truck. So, trying not to do that. I wanna stay out here another day or so. We found a lot of good sign. We just gotta cross paths with the elk. So, um, that's it for now.